Hi, everyone. That breaking news. Two remaining defendants in the Vanderbilt rape case are being called into court. This comes after the aggravated rape convictions of Corey Beatty and then Brandon Vandenberg. It's a key development, and Nick Barris tells us the state is moving to finally bring an end to this tragic case. Many are wondering, could there be two more trials here at the Birch Building in the Vanderbilt rape case? It's really hard to imagine, but tonight... I'm told that's likely not going to happen. Plea deals are in the works. For three years now, Brandon Banks and Jaborian Tip McKenzie have been free on bond. They are co-defendants with Brandon Vandenberg and Corey Beatty for the aggravated rape of an unconscious female student in a Vanderbilt dormitory back in 2013. Since then, first Beatty and then Vandenberg stood trial. McKenzie testified for the prosecution. What did he say? Uh, we have this in here. You say anything else? Yes, he uh, as Corey's already messing with the young lady, touching her, taking her clothes off. He said we are going. The jury convicted first Beatty and then later Vandenberg. We, the jury, find the defendant Brandon Vandenberg, count one, aggravated rape, guilty of aggravated rape. Judge Monty Watkins sentenced Beatty to 15 years. Vandenberg will learn his fate on September 30th. And now we've learned both Banks and McKinsey will be there at his sentencing. There's a chance prosecutors will announce plea deals for the two at that time. I imagine they probably already had discussions with the other two co-defendants. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo doubts there will be two more trials. Lead prosecutor Tom Thurman has retired. It's hard to imagine the victim being called to testify again even if she's willing. Leonardo does say a plea deal will likely include jail time, but much less than Beatty and Vandenberg, who must serve the majority of their sentences. Any sort of offer that would make them eligible for parole after serving 30 percent of their sentence uh, would be something uh, that I think uh, the defendants may need to take a serious look at. So when will we know about any potential plea deals? I'm told an announcement will be made sometime not long after Brandon Vandenberg is sentenced to prison. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Prosecutors typically do not comment on plea negotiations if and when a deal is announced. Leonardo thinks the deals will also require that Banks and McKinsey go on the sex offender registry.